I've said this multiple times before, but I'm not going to pretend like I was ever a fan of Wilbur's suit. I'm not going to pretend like I ever really watched his videos, mainly just because of the fact that he would make videos and content and live streams revolving around other creators that I'm not really too big of a fan of. Not that I really watched that many Minecraft YouTubers or streamers to begin with anyways, but I knew of the guy because he did hang around some pretty popular content creators on the platform. So I knew of the guy, he was in... Uh, an interview with Anthony, Anthony Padilla, and I've seen some, some of the YouTube shorts about the interview, and he was making music, he was making streams and videos, and I knew about the guy, to say the least. But I didn't really know that much about him, but recently some allegations were made about, about him by another content creator, by Shovel or Shelby, and in the live stream that she had made, basically she was just talking about an experience that she had with an ex-boyfriend where he was biting, biting down on her too hard, even though she would like let him know that he was hurting her. And there were times where they would hang out with like friends and stuff and they would show him or show them the bite marks that he would leave on her body that were very large and visible bruises that were they were literally all over her entire body. And he would also make jokes and comments about how it looked like he actually abused her, which he absolutely did. He went against her consent, he made her feel uncomfortable, and he leave bruises on her body by just biting her. And that's messed up. And Obviously, in the live stream, she didn't want anyone to know who it was, but people very quickly figured it out of who she was probably talking about, and it was about Wilbur. He recently came out with a statement of his response to the allegations, saying uh, in the past week some serious allegations were made about him, uh, about his contact, conduct with his ex-girlfriend, this, then, and the other. I read the, I read the reply, I read, I read the whole thing, and people have been talking about it, and... Basically, in the apology, he sort of apologizes, but not really, because he doesn't really acknowledge, like, what he did was terrible. He uses, like, some words and vocabulary that make it seem like that who he was and what he did wasn't as bad as what it was being described from... Just, just towards the people that don't really know, like, the full context of what's going on. They only know his side of the story, and they don't know the other person's side of the story. And he doesn't acknowledge anything. He makes the whole thing really about himself by saying that he realized that his past behavior had hurt somebody and that he had tried to make great strides to improve the person that he was and continue to grow and improve like who he is as a person and how he thought the whole thing was consensual and playful and you know, reciprocally enjoyed by the other person in the situation which is Shelby. When in reality he was told multiple times by her that she was being hurt by him and that what he was doing was wrong and she even let him know that in a previous relationship before Wilbur uh, she had actually been assaulted by an ex-boyfriend of hers so the fact that he was making these comments about abusing her and abusing her in this way through biting and leaving these like bruises on her arms and like her neck and stuff like that it just was a situation that that was well known to him that he was fully aware of but he still decided to go ahead and continue the, the actions of abuse against her anyways. And the apology just went on deaf ears by the overall public on online. People have completely cited against him. Uh, even for a short while, like, Little Tay started trending because even she decided to go ahead and reply to the tweet. And people were saying stuff like, you know an apology is bad when Little Tay says that it's bad. And yeah, basically just the entire internet went from admiring this guy and praising this guy and enjoying his music and his live streams and his content to completely like siding with Shelby in this situation because we, we pretty much just got full confirmation that what he did actually happened right that the relationship did happen that the actions of him biting her actually did happen and that he just did terrible things to her and he completely acknowledges this but tries to downplay it as as it not being as bad as it actually is and yeah, everyone hates him right now. Everyone's talking about the whole situation. People are waiting to see if he has anything further to say. I'm fully expecting him to potentially make a future video on his YouTube channel about the whole situation. Or he potentially shares more information than what he had let on in the initial first reply that he made. But right now, it seems like that he just is not going to be able to win back his fan base. Because if you go on Twitter and you look up Shovel, uh, just, just outgoing support made for her like tons of fan art tons of messages uh supporting her uh people who made content with wilbur have, have have actively been distancing themselves from him so he's losing a lot of content creator friends losing a lot of right now just because of these allegations and them basically being confirmed that they're true 
uh let's be honest here yeah like this is just a huge thing that's been going on right now this is uh even his own discord uh, people have been posting a lot of tweets revolving around his discord about how people have just completely cited against him and saying like fuck wilbur and stuff like that it's actually kind of insane how quickly the internet completely shifted sides in this situation not to say that it's not warranted because it 100 percent is like what he did was truly awful and terrible and he's getting his comeuppance for it so it's you know it's not surprising that this is happening but it is upsetting for a lot of people i imagine for a lot of fans of him who enjoyed his music and enjoyed his content uh, I, I imagine they're all very upset by this, and that does suck that a creator that you did enjoy just turned out to be an abuser. But it's better that we know about this now because hopefully this doesn't happen again in the future. And I think that's the best thing that we can hope for out of this situation. And yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about this whole thing because, like I mentioned at the beginning, wasn't really a fan, didn't really care about his content, but the fact that this is happening and the fact that he is being dragged through the mud like this is completely deserved and fully support shelby what she went through was truly awful and no one should have to go through this especially by a person who was supposed to care about you and love you and support you and they just did something truly heinous and awful even if it was as simple as just biting a little bit too hard uh yeah it's awful this whole situation is just bad but now that people know about it you know that's all we can really say is that, is that people are glad to know about this and that we don't have to support an abuser on our platform anymore so yeah that's pretty much it if you liked the video be sure to leave a like if you want to see more please be sure to subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video i'm out peace Let's go.